Welcome to BRR Media. Today I'm joined once again by Jeremy Skillington, the Chief Executive Officer of Poolberg. Jeremy, it's great to have you with us. Good to see you again, Rosie. We're seeing a lot of each other these days. Uh, Poolberg is uh, quite busy. It's exciting times. Your, pool, your POLB 001 LPS Human Challenge study is on track and starting in June this year. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we're uh, delighted with this. Uh, we've signed our clinical trial agreement with our colleagues at the uh, Centre for Human Drug Research in uh, the Netherlands to run this uh, LPS Human Challenge study to get this early proof of concept, proof of mechanism for our lead programme, the uh, Immune Modulator for Severe Influenza. So tell us more, what is an LPS Challenge study? Yeah, it's a good question. So this is where you take a healthy volunteer and you give them a bacterial fragment called a lipopolysaccharide. It's actually part of the membrane, but in a very safe and controlled clinical environment. And what that does, it kind of tricks the immune system into believing that there is an infection occurring and the immune system responds appropriately. So again, it's kind of a surrogate or you know, a mimic, let's say, for a viral infection, for example, like severe influenza that we're, we're, we're pursuing. So essentially, it'll kind of activate the immune response. And then when we give our drug, we want to block that immune response. So we're going to you know, do a lot of in-depth you know, clinical analysis and you know, blood analysis and cell analysis, et cetera, of, uh, of what happens when you give uh, this LPS to a healthy volunteer. So again, the, the, you know, the objective is for POLB001 to block that inflammatory response and, uh, and as they dampen the, the immune system down. So it's a very interesting study. Again, we've been uh, negotiating with colleagues about the, the best design for the study. So we have two approaches. One of them is to give the L LPS intradermally, so just under the skin. And then secondly is intravenously, so it goes systemically. And then when we give our drug, we're able to analyze the impact locally you know, in, in the skin area or else kind of systemically. So again, we're going to get a lot of data from this, a lot of uh, you know, key data, a lot of information that, uh, that we'll be pursuing. And as you know, the objective of Pool Bay then is to uh, you know to to partner part of these uh, you know this program with pharma, so it'll be a really attractive data set for uh, for pharma colleagues to to analyze from a partnering standpoint. So again, that early human proof of concept data that we've said for uh, for you know since inception, you know since our IPO, uh, we'll be pursuing. So uh, we're we're on track to do that, and I say in a very kind of capital light model where we're we're managing that as well. So Jeremy, when do you expect to receive these results, and what's next from there? Yeah, it's a, it's a relatively rapid study. As I say, you kind of you know, give the LPS, the immune, respond, the immune system responds, and you give our drug, and then there's kind of the, the readouts are, are pretty quick. So we're hoping to have a, you know, an attractive data set by the end of the year. So by the end of 2022, which lines up well, there's a big biotech pharma conference in San Francisco every year when there's not a pandemic going on called a JP Morgan conference. So we'll be uh, planning to be you know, having in-depth discussions with pharma there next year, you know, presenting our, our data set. So that'll be interesting. So I so said, we're all on track and uh, everything is, uh, is looking well. Well, Jeremy, thank you. And we look forward to hearing more. Thank you, Rosie. Appreciate your time.